This episode of The Young Turks is brought to you by GoDaddy.com. If you go to theyoungturks.com slash GoDaddy, you get the best promo codes in the world. The Republican state lawmaker in New Hampshire, his name is uh, Martin Hardy, um, when asked what we should do with uh, the mentally ill since uh, there won't be as much funding for them anymore. And by the way, there's a problem throughout the country. Uh, in Arizona, Jan Brewer is cutting funding for the mentally ill. About 5,200 patients might simply um, be released. And then what, where are they supposed to go? It's a good question. That's what they asked Hardy. Uh, now, Hardy's 91 years old, so some people are saying that's why he's uh, more willing to speak his mind, <laughs> to put it one way. He said, uh, yeah, why don't we just send him to Siberia? Now, he says he was joking, and I believe him. And I'm not saying, you know, I'm not calling for his head, saying, oh, he's got to resign, et cetera, et cetera. I, I don't make it, want to make a federal case out of it. Uh, and, you know, and people say, look, he's 90, he just got elected freshman lawmaker. It's an interesting story. And he doesn't know how to be politically correct yet. And he was joking. Okay. So it's not about him. I, it's fine. You know what? Out of the mercy of my heart, I pardon you. Okay. But it does go to the larger issue. What are we supposed to do with them? I mean, you can joke around about sending them to Siberia, but the reality is, you know where they're going to show up when you stop funding for them or stop caring for them? They're going to show up in the streets. Even Hardy said the same thing. He's like, I don't know, I guess they'll be homeless in the street. I mean, yeah, that's right. They're going to be homeless in the street. So then, what will Republicans do? Oh, goddamn homeless. That's the problem. There are too many homeless people around. Yeah, I know, but it's the same thing that happened to Reagan, where he closed down a lot of facilities and then they were out in the street, and then he came, turned around and said, God damn homeless. Look, some people are mentally ill, and you know what? They need help. I mean, do Republicans really think, oh, the mentally ill, they'll be fine. They don't need any help. So I know there has to be some spending cuts. First of all, you know my constant complaint about that. There's no real shared pain. They're giving tax cuts to the rich at the same time as making you, uh, you know, the middle class, the poor, and the mentally ill share all of the pain, right? But, but the second problem is, look, there's some things that you just you just can't cut, right? I'm not saying that I know the exact limit of the budget for caring for the mentally ill, but if you cut it completely, as is happening in Arizona, you know, with the 5,200 people being released, et cetera, well, there are going to be consequences in that. And then if you do do that and you voted for that, well, then don't complain when there are literally crazy homeless people around your house. That's, that's the way it works. There's no other way around it. Uh, if you do the funding, then we can help those people, and it helps the community. You just got to use your sense into as to what to cut and what not to cut. Jenk, if you want to buy a domain name, you want to know the best website to go to? Uh, I already know it. GoDaddy.com. First of all, they have 24-7 customer service. If you want to download GoDaddy's free iPhone, Android, or BlackBerry app, boom, on your phone instantly. And if you go to theyoungturks.com slash GoDaddy, you get all of our promo codes, like TYT1 gets you 10% off of all your orders. TYT3 gets you a .com domain for only $7.99. You can't beat that.